Hey guys, welcome to the first episode of our brand new series. Yay! We're gonna be playing Kerbal Space Explosion. I mean program, Kerbal Space Program. Like many of you, I first learned about this game from watching Kurt J. Max videos. And I watched enough of them where I just got this itch like, man, I wanna play it. I wanna play it, it looks so fun. Uh, that's kind of the point of YouTube videos, at least in part, isn't it? I mean, it's like a, an amazing marketing tool for uh, computer game companies, but it's also like a good way to sort of um, learn about new games from other people. So that's what we're going to be doing. This is my first time playing, and I'm going to be starting a new game. The game is still in either alpha or beta or something. We're in version 21. So let's go to... I don't know what all these things are. What? Let's see what this spaceport is. Oh, that's a web page. All right, never mind. Start game. So if I click on start game, re resume save. I have none. Start new training scenarios. Uh, construction basics, flight basics, orbiting 101. I may dive into these a little later if I want uh, to know some more technical stuff. And here are some scenarios. But I think what I want to do first is just kind of dive in. This is a sandbox game, and I want to play in the sandbox. Um, let me actually grab my notepad here. One of the first things I do when I learn a new game is I go into the options menu, and I write down all of the keyboard shortcuts for the game, so I, uh, I don't have to go into the options menu while I'm playing. Play a name, Zisto. Game mode, sandbox. There is no career mode yet. Hopefully that'll come. We've got flags. Hmm. I think I would like to add my own. I don't know if you can actually do that yet or if I'll have to go into the game files to do that. We will look into that another time. I'll just pick that one for right now. Let's go to start. Okay, here we go. We have a number of buildings. Let's see. We've got the vehicle assembly building where we're going to make stuff. Here's the launch pad where we fire off things and they explode. There's a tracking station where we can look at the solar system Astronaut complex, I guess we pick our astronauts there, and a space plane hangar for making space planes. Um, okay, let's look at the tracking station briefly. So, here is our planet, Kerbin. We've got the moon, called Moon. Another moon called Midmus. If we zoom out, we can see we're orbiting around... Some sort of star. I don't know what it's called. I think it's just called the sun. Then here's Moho, which is Mercury. Eve, which is Venus. Uh, then we've got Duna, which is Mars. Zooming out further, we've got Dress. I don't know what Dress is. I looked at this a little bit earlier just to look at the layout. I think that's like an asteroid or something. Maybe it's a planet. But out here, here is Jewel. That's Jupiter. And then way out here is Elo. I don't know how to switch to these. I, oh, there we go. Focus Elo. Elo is a tiny little planet. It's not a gas giant. So maybe it's a like an analog to Pluto or something like that. Something small and very far away. And a lot of these planets have moons. But before we do any of this craziness, let's just try and launch something. So, before we can launch anything, we gotta build something. And I guess we do it in here. I just want to, uh, I don't want to spend a lot of time building my first rocket. I just want to, f I just want to, I want to start uh, flying a ship as soon as possible. So we have all these cockpits. I looked over the items a little bit before recording, just to get a little bit of familiarity. And there is a lot of them. I kind of feel like maybe they need to categorize have more categories because there's a lot so let's just start with this guy uh, how do I zoom out for pad minus and plus that's a little odd the scroll wheel on my mouse goes up and down like this I guess we'll get used to it let's see over here we've got a series of rockets and then different types of fuselages let's just go with the simplest thing we can possibly make Will this fit that? Yes! Okay, it looks like that has a rocket already attached to it. So we don't have to attach one of these fellers. 
Uh, it says... Rocco Max BACC Solid Fuel Booster. Um, all right, good. <laughs> good enough. Let's launch it. There's our first rocket. Which one do we click on? I don't even know. That. The little... that. Yeah, that looks appropriate. Okay. Here we are on the launch pad. Look at this little pathetic guy. One thing I'm noticing is there's no, like, launch tower here. I wonder if that's a setting I didn't choose or something. But who cares? Let's just, um, I just want to fly something. So we're going to throttle up by holding down the shift. Control throttles down. Let's get the throttle up as high as it'll go. And space bar. Yeah. Let's go. Um, I don't have SAS on this, I guess, which sort of helps to control your rocket. Go the direction you point it in. Uh, I don't care about that right now. I just want to fly something. Jebediah Kerman is, man, is he having a good time. Let's let's uh, play with the controls a little bit. I'm using WASD to do this. And then if I use Q and E, it spins around. Woo! <laughs> look, at, look at the lighting effects on Jebediah. It's, uh, it's rendering the lighting effects in real time as it spins. Strobe light! Yes, <laughs> Jebediah is having a disco dancing party. How you like it, Jebediah? Oh, crap. We're about to run out of fuel. Okay, um... Oh, no! Why, why are we on fire? Oh, we're... Crap, we're spinning. Okay, stop spinning. No, no, stop, stop spinning. Stop spinning. Oh, crap. Crap. Uh, shit. Damn it. Oh, no. Okay, let's, um, what button switches us to the orbital map? Where is that? M, orbital map. All right, let's look at this. Okay. Uh, Kerbin Apoapsis. That's the height of our trajectory. The highest point, 38 thousand meters and rapidly falling T and there's a T minus countdown there which I guess is the moment we're going to reach that point 32 seconds okay uh, how do I get back do I hit M again yes that's how we do it we hit M again and we're just sort of let me see if I can halt the rotation I don't have SAS so it won't just like oh oh my gosh Jebediah, you're gonna throw up. I'm sorry. I'm gonna sorry. I'm sorry. Um, do we have a parachute? Can we can we deploy it? Oh, oh crap. Uh Jebediah. Jebed oh, oh no. Jebediah. Oh, I'm sorry, Jebediah. Oh, what are we doing? <laughs> I don't have a parachute. And I do, do you have a jetpack? How do I switch to the jetpack? Can I rotate you? Um, let's see. Go to next camera is V. Camera free. How do I rotate Jebediah? Why won't he spin? I know there's a way to uh, transition between walking around Jebediah and like jetpack Jebediah. How do I do? I don't know how to do that. Um, we're just sort of flying by the seat of our pants. Oh my gosh. And Jebediah is having the time of his life. And we are quickly approaching the terminus of our maiden voyage. Oh, Jebediah, I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry, Jebediah. <laughs> what have I done? Jebediah. Oh, look, there's our rocket right there. I wonder if we go back to M, is it listed as a separate thing now? So this is Jebediah Kerman and also untitled spacecraft. Jebediah is going slightly faster and is a little bit lower. Okay, I've lost it. I don't know where it went. Oh, God. Jebediah. No, the the re-entry re heat. Jebediah. No. Jebediah. No, Jebediah. No. <laughs> oh, my gosh. What have I done? Um, let me look around controls. Uh, RCS toggle. Oh. What is this doing? What is this? Where's my little, uh, I don't have my, that, that thing. Jebediah. Here, hit the, hit the, move up! Ow! Jebediah, no! No, Jebediah! Gah! Well, if we look in our astronaut complex, it appears poor Jebediah, and the text is bugging out a little bit there for some reason. He is missing in action. He's not missing. We know exactly where he went. <laughs> He's dead. 
He is dead. Okay, let's uh, let's try and build in something else. Guidance unit. No thanks, not yet. I just want to fly things. We'll get into guidance later. I don't need that kind of stuff. Avionics package. Where are the parachutes? Clampotron shielded docking port. That's not what we want. Are they in this one? Here we go. Parachute. Mark 16. Mark 25. Mark 16 XL. There. Yeah, we want the XL package, right? Okay, let's go back. Uh, we need some fuselages and boosters and rockets and whatnots. Let's see. Is this the right size? I know. No, that's the wrong size. Oh, did we pick a big capsule? Let's, uh... Can we grab this guy and compare them? Okay, it's a little bigger than this space plane looking jet thing, but that, I guess that's okay. It doesn't matter. Let's see. Let's find something. Fuel tank. Does that fit? No. Wrong one. Uh, what about you? Look at that. Okay. Rocco Max fuel tank. Good. Uh, let's... Oh, sideways. That's good. It's like a can of sardines on top of another can of sardines. Do they not fit on... Okay, yeah. Okay, there we go. Two cans of sardines. Three cans. Four cans. Five cans. Six cans. Am I doing this right? Okay, let's put a, a rocket thingy on it. Uh, skipper. Whatever. Yeah, that thing looks good. Um. All right. Let's go. Okay, here we go. Um, throttle up. And launch in five, four, three, two, one, zero. I think that's a, oh, crap. What's going on? Uh-oh, it's not launching. Why aren't you launching? Is it too heavy? Did I make it too heavy? Okay, I'm looking at these, and it seems like this guy has a max power of 650, which sounds impressive. But then I look at this one. The Rocco Max mainsail, it's got a max power of 1500. Possibly I have too many fuel thingies there, and the thing weighs too much. Let's try this guy. Let's try this guy on for size. See what this do. And five, four, three, two, one, go! Yeah! Whoa! <laughs> what? <laughs> it's my, my parachute fired at the same time. Oh my god. Oh my. Whoa. Oh my god. <laughs> what? Oh, ab abandoned ship. Abandoned ship. I don't have a. Oh god, this is gonna end. I'm sorry, Billy George and Mon. Ma What's your name? Mon. Ma oh, I hardly knew you. Oh no. Oh wait, hang on. Oh, <laughs> look at this. They made it. Woo, <laughs> we made it. We have survived. We have landed on Kerbin. All right, <laughs> so I guess that's it for the first video. This is kind of an experiment to see if people actually want to watch this game and footage of it. Uh, let me know if you like this video. And if you do, I will make more because this is kind of fun, I have to say. So hope you enjoyed it. See you guys later. Take it easy. Have a good day. Bye-bye.